So we got to get to our off-the-record comments, and we'll start with uh, Derek Clay. So, uh, very exciting news for the city of Columbus is up for a Smart Cities uh, grant that uh, we're, we're in the running with five different cities, and if we get this grant, it's going to be $40 million to our community to, uh, to analyze how we get around through technology. And Terry Casey will finally get his light rail. <laughs> Terry, you're up next. July 21st, I predict that Donald Trump will not make his acceptance speech in the queue where LeBron James plays. It'll be in Cleveland Brown Stadium, and I think his final line to Hillary Clinton will be, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Julie. Uh, I'm going way out there, but I feel like John Kasich is going to have to come around to supporting Trump at some point with the convention in his uh, state and with the fact Terry's so much behind the idea. I think that that probably signals something. And Joe. An artist uh, this week said in Cleveland, the week of the RNC, that he's going to do a big art piece involving 100 naked women. And I think that's just the latest, and we're going to see more <laughs> of these weird and unusual things happening the week of the RNC. To be clear, Terry Casey does not support light rail. I was being facetious there. <laughs> unless you've changed your position. No? Well, well, unless you win the a billion dollar lottery. <laughs> um, I, I'll, I'll project that. Donald Trump does not have his speech in Cleveland Brown Stadium because the negative vibe and metaphors that would come out of there <laughs> would be too much to overcome even for the Donald. 